When people think about augmented reality, they often picture the fun of catching Pokemon in the park, or those hilarious face filters, or visualizing how their new sofa might look in their living room. These apps are already making our lives more fun and practical, turning abstract ideas into tangible experiences. But here's the exciting part. This is only just the tip of the iceberg. With breakthroughs in AI and wearable technology accelerating daily, these early applications are merely the first steps. We're heading towards a future where AR isn't just a novelty, it's a fundamental shift in how we interact with and understand the world. Imagine technology seamlessly enhancing our natural abilities, our vision, our learning and even our core cognitive processes. Hey what's up and how's it going, this is Toby and in today's video we're diving into what augmented reality really is and why we might even want to call it augmented cognition in the future. When people hear AR, they often think of mobile games, camera filters, or placing digital furniture. And honestly, these experiences are kind of magical. They're intuitive, creative, and they've introduced millions to spatial computing in an accessible, enjoyable way. But AR is rapidly evolving beyond just visual effects or convenient try-before-you-buy tools. It's becoming a new computing layer, a dynamic interface that blends the digital and physical realms. This is the gateway to what you could call augmented cognition. Having intelligent tools at your disposal that support not just what you see, but how you learn, remember, create and express yourself in richer, more intuitive ways. Let's take a look at how AR is already pushing beyond entertainment and into fundamentally enhancing real-world capabilities. I recently attended an event where Snap showcased their latest spectacles. What struck me was the shift in focus, less on gaming, more on empowering people to do things more effectively. We saw demos of a basketball player getting life coaching feedback based on their form, instantly improving their shot and building muscle memory. Imagine someone learning piano, seeing visual guides appear directly over the keys, making a challenging skill more accessible and joyful. Or a cooking app that doesn't just show a recipe, but recognizes the ingredients you have on hand and guides you through the preparation. This isn't limited to personal use. In demanding industrial settings, AR solutions allow technicians to receive remote expert assistance, overlaying instructions onto complex machinery or visualize hidden infrastructure like power lines behind walls, saving time, reducing errors and enhancing safety. At the MRT Reality Hack, I witnessed a prototype for an AR-controlled robot designed to assist firefighters, enabling them to locate individuals inside burning buildings. A tool that could directly save lives in situations too perilous for humans. NVIDIA even demonstrated the Apple Vision Pro controlling robots remotely, heralding new paradigms for how we interact with machines and hazardous environments. So we're not just passively looking at data anymore, we're starting to act through it. AR is becoming an active layer of control, learning and support embedded in our physical world. Now let's project forward. Imagine combining this evolving AR with the power of AI and increasingly smart interconnected environments. Suddenly your AR glasses don't just show you pre-programmed information, they begin to understand your goals, anticipate your needs and adapt to your context in real time. Picture this, you're brainstorming a complex project. Your AR environment doesn't just display your notes, it surfaces relevant articles, data points or even visual idea maps generated by an AI that understands your creative objectives. If you're cooking, it's not just a static recipe, it's an interactive guide that adjusts timing if you're interrupted or suggests alternative ingredients if you're missing one, all hands free. If you're trying to concentrate in a busy office, your AR glasses could intelligently reduce distracting visual noise, highlighting only the information that are critical for your current task. This leap towards cognitive support could be revolutionary. Consider someone with ADHD. AR could provide gentle personalized cues to help maintain focus or break down tasks into manageable steps. For a person on the autism spectrum who finds navigating unfamiliar social situations challenging, AR could offer discrete, real-time social cues or calming visualizations, making everyday interactions more manageable and less stressful. Looking further, we could see smart lenses that don't just correct vision but dynamically enhance it based on the task, 
Imagine systems that actively support memory recall during learning, or even neural interfaces that begin to bridge our thoughts more directly with the digital tools for creation and problem solving. Looking further, we could see smart lenses that don't just correct vision, but dynamically enhance it based on the task. Imagine systems that actively support memory recall during learning or even neural interfaces that begin to bridge our thoughts more directly with digital tools for creation and problem solving. At that point, it's no longer just augmented reality. It is truly augmented cognition. Technology that doesn't just show us more, but actively helps us to understand think and create more effectively. This incredible potential naturally brings significant responsibilities. As AR interfaces become more integrated with our personal data and potentially even our cognitive processes, the ethical considerations are paramount. We must champion user control, prioritizing on-device data processing where possible. Transparency in how these systems operate is key, no black boxes. Crucially, development must be rooted in informed consent, ensuring technologies are reversible and always serve the user's best interests. The tools we build will shape not just our work and play, but how we think. Navigating these challenges thoughtfully is essential to unlock the transformative potential of AR to genuinely enhance human intellect and creativity. So no, augmented reality isn't just another tech trend. It is the dawn of something much larger, something that touches the very core of human experience. This is the beginning of a deeper, more integrated merge between our tools and our minds. The future of computing won't just live on our screens. It will live in our surroundings, be perceived through our senses, and yes, maybe even interact with our thoughts. If this vision of augmented cognition sparked something in you, maybe excitement, concern, or even creative ideas, Leave a comment below and let's discuss there about the future of augmented reality. But until then, as always, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.